Good evening teachers. My name is Dr. Vikas. I have created this video especially for teachers and this video is going to cover some quick tips for teachers to come out like a hero, like a heroine in the live videos or recorded videos which they are now making because of this uh, corona times. Earlier, you know, we were used to this chalk and uh, talk kind of, you know, teaching in physical classrooms. But because of this lockdown, because of this virus, uh, the entire education, be it school education, secondary education, higher education, technical education, all the education has shifted from classrooms to online. I have written a book on this subject by the name Paper to Screen, The Future of Education. And in that book, the chapter one uh, basically covers this uh, topic of how teachers can come out uh, very, very good like heroes and heroines in, in, in front of the camera because we have never used this. You know, students uh, were quite uh, using this platform, you know, online platform they were using Snapchat, they were using Instagram, and they were they were very comfortable with the online platform of video conferencing. But teachers, you know, were, were not that comfortable, that acquainted with the uh, platform. So this, uh, you know, video is going to cover certain quick tips and tricks to come out best, you know, in, in, in front of camera and uh, give very presentable, very nice, interesting video lectures. So I'll try to cover these uh, tricks and tips quite uh, quickly so because all of you are aware and all of you are using these tricks and tips to certain uh, because all of you have been uh, using this platform uh, but uh, I have seen that still uh, teachers are not making best use of this platform uh, of online uh, video lecturing. So how uh, such small tricks and tips can improve the quality of your lectures and magnify the quality of your lectures uh, you will come to know in the next 10-15 minutes. The first uh, tip is that because this is going to continue for some time, you know, we are not having any vaccine for coronavirus, we are not having any medicine for coronavirus, so it seems that uh, education will continue to be on uh, online platform for some times to come maybe for next three, four, five months, maybe for next semester, uh, this uh, education will continue online. So because it's there for next five, six months at least, I would say that you should have, you should create a certain area in your house, in your home, uh, which can be your personal studio. Now this area can be there in your living room, it can be there in your uh, drawing room, which can be dedicated to uh, recording of videos or going live. Uh, I have seen teachers which are using random places at home and they don't you know, uh, look that professional or that good. Second point is that or second tip is that uh, the area that you are using should have good internet connectivity. It can be through Wi-Fi, it can be through Footspot, but connectivity uh, should be very good so that the lectures are recorded or lectures are relayed uh, very nicely without any uh, hindrance in the voice or video continuity. Then comes uh, important tip number three regarding the seating. Uh, you know teachers feel most comfortable when they are standing with, you know, as in their real classrooms. So when you are recording video or when you are going live uh, you can choose to stand and uh, you know deliver the video. Or you can do like what I am doing right now I am sitting on the chair and recording this video so you can use a sitting position also. Choice is yours. You can be standing or you can be sitting. But the point is that you should not be lying on a couch or lying on a sofa or driving a car while uh, delivering the lecture. That should be avoided. Next tip is the position of the camera. I am sharing with you that I have seen many incidences in, in webinars and in, in, uh, the senior panelists also. They are not very uh, aware, comfortable with the position of the camera. The camera should be above your chin level. It should never be below your chin level. It should be at the chin level, 
at the level of your face or above that. You should be looking up in the camera and not down in the camera. So this is very, very uh, essential tip. Another uh, important point is that there should be a gap of at least 30 centimeters between the camera and your face, 30 centimeters. That gap should be maintained. I have seen certain videos where uh, the presenter and the camera was very close to each other. So again, it doesn't come out good. So it should be, the distance should be minimum 30 centimeters. Next is regarding the background. As you can see in this video, uh, in my background, I'm recording this video in my office. You can see in the background, uh, there is a cupboard there. So in your home also, you can, uh, in your uh, studio, you can see that uh, there is a light colored wall in the background or uh, there can be a bookshelf or there can be a cupboard like this in the background. Uh, some uh, platforms are now also providing the facility of having a virtual green background. Uh, personally, I do not like that, but you can also use a uh, virtual green background at the back. Then comes position of the phone. You know, phone should not be in a portrait position. Phone should be in a landscape position when you are recording. And uh, we are having laptops also. Laptops are already in the position of landscape. So there is no need to change any orientation there. But while you are recording video using a mobile phone, you should use the correct orientation. You should use the landscape mode. Then comes the your position. Uh, again, I have seen a lot of videos where teachers are taking class, but they are uh, either on one side of the screen or they are on the other side of the screen. The effort should be that you are there at the center of the screen. The screen area, as you can see right now, uh, from all the four dimensions, my face is there in the center of the screen. So try to ensure that you are in the center of the screen. Then comes a very crucial point regarding the light. Uh, light should be coming from the front of your face. Light should be, uh, light can be natural or light can be artificial, uh, but it should be coming from the front. It should not be coming from the back. If, if there is a window there at the background, if uh, there is some uh, strong light source in the background, then your picture will never come good, your video will never come good and you will be very blurred uh, in, in your video. So light should always be coming from the front. Then comes another crucial point, you know, eye contact, especially for teachers, because uh, students should get this feel that they are being observed and you are looking in their eyes. So how to ensure that? Look straight in the camera when you are recording or when you are going live, just pinpoint where is the camera in your mobile phone and look straight in the camera. If you look straight in the camera, then uh, it will it will uh, create an impression of very nice eye contact with the students. Another, uh, you know, uh, I have seen in videos lately that when you are recording a video or when you are going live, you know, somebody is moving around you know, at your back. You know, a small kid is going around, your maid is going around, and there is a disturbance in the video. So when you are making this, uh, uh, you know, video, uh, you must ensure that there should not be any movement in the background. It should come out very professional. Another uh, uh, point is that you should use your correct screen name. It should be like, in my case, it's Dr. Vikas Singh. So when you are using a screen name, it should be very correct. Dr. such and such, Mr. such and such, Miss such and such. And also the screen image. You know, screen image is again very crucial. Your good passport size professional photograph should be used. This is very essential because uh, if there is something happens with your live video, then your screen name and your image is is shown to the people. So it should be uh, very nice and professional name as well as the picture. Another uh, crucial point is that when you are starting your video, every good video platform permits that uh, when you are starting a video, your sound can be mute, your image, your video can be mute. Use that because there can be some accident in the video. So you uh, start your video, your name will be there, your picture will be there. When you become comfortable, then you can unmute the video, then you can unmute the sound. But do not do it automatically. Then comes how you should speak. Uh, in speaking, 
like in class, uh, actual class, you know what we are doing? We are speaking at a slightly higher pitch. Same is the case with videos. When you are speaking, speak at a slightly higher pitch, but words per minute should be less. So slow pace, higher pitch. Words per minute should be less, pitch should be higher. Then comes uh, dress, how you should be dressed. Uh, I, I would say you should be dressed professionally and as per the expectations of your organization. If your organization demands that you should be wearing a necktie, you should be wearing a jacket, do that. If your role demands that, do that. Otherwise, you should put on any professional formal clothes and you can, you can, you can start your video lecture. Whatever makes you comfortable. Then comes uh, appearance. Appearance means uh, you should always be there with a smile. Uh, smile makes you look good, you know. And there should not be any uh, touching your face, touching your hairs, uh, picking your nose, picking your teeth. That should be avoided. Then comes uh, time limit. You know, you must ensure the time limit. You know, if you have 30 minutes lecture, you must ensure that you have sufficient material. You should not overshoot the time that time is completed, but still topics are remaining. And also you should not be having under uh, preparation that time is still there. Uh, there are 10 minutes, 10 minutes to lapse to your lecture and your content is over. So that should be uh, properly maintained. Though I know that we are teachers and uh, we can extend time if required. Then comes uh, another important point, especially in live lectures, that when you are going live for your lecture, you must carry a pen and paper because it's a 25, 30, 45 minutes lecture and uh, there can be some questions from students So, uh, and, and that can interrupt your uh, delivery. So you can note down those questions and you can tell the audience, you can tell the students that you will reply to these questions subsequently, but you need to record those questions properly at the time of video. Then comes uh, the last you know, points, you must at the end of the uh, video lecture, you must smile and you must say thank you to the audience because as it's challenging for you, likewise it's challenging for the audience. You must tell them that, it's, that you are thankful that they were there for the video lecture and uh, that you are confident that what you were trying to deliver, uh, that has been delivered and students' learning has taken place. Because uh, now it's outcome-based education. Teaching is not important, learning is important. So you must check at the end of the lecture that what I was trying to deliver, have I been uh, able to deliver that or not? Have you understood the concept or not? And uh, last point that, you know, at the, uh, uh, now teachers are taking three, four, five lectures in a day online medium. So, you know, they do not find sufficient time to eat, snack. So I've seen in uh, video lectures, you know, somebody is using uh, snacking, you know, eating chips, eating biscuits. That should be avoided. That's big unprofessional. So uh, you know, during your lecture, you should not eat or munch around. You know that's that's very very uh, important. So with this, uh, I finish uh, my this video. I hope uh, the tips and tricks that I shared with you will be uh, you will find value in them. You will find them useful. And in my uh, subsequent video, I will uh, discuss what are the methods to ensure that students are engaged in the lecture. You know, when you are taking a physical class, you can ensure that the students are engaged, they are attentive. But how you can ensure in the video lecture also that the students are attentive in your class? What are the tricks and tips for that? We will discuss in the next video. Thank you very much. I hope you find value in this. Thank you.